I want to react on the two videos I've watched about Simon Eba uh, talking about his reaction on Simon and um, Matthias um, arrest and detention. Uh, also, he talked about the civil disobedience that's going to be embarked on towards the December season seasonal period to protest against the Islamic State that was declared by the Nigerian government um, pledging their loyalty or support to the war, ongoing war in Israel, supporting the Hamas against Israel. So permit me as with my office as a priest to react on those important um, issues. Now listen to the first, I want to start from one of the highlighted points where he made emphasis. Uh, in fact, that was the way I, that caught my fantasy. That is where I am constrained to really react on him. And this particular this statement he made has changed my mentality towards him, my thought, my, 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 my perception. I mean, I am a Christian. I believe in God. And above all, I confess that Jesus Christ is my personal Lord and Savior. Traditional way of worship, we are physically destroyed and burnt to ashes. I believe you heard him. I am a Christian. I confess that Jesus Christ is my personal Lord and Savior. Something happened in the scriptures. The Bible says Abraham believed the Lord and it was counted for him as righteousness. For this confession, I am not a friend of Simon Eber. For this confession, my love for him has changed. My perspective about him has changed. For this confession, because he confessed the same faith with me. Do you know why? The guy he is speaking for is someone who is vehemently promoting and speaking against this particular Lord and Savior of our life. This guy who has consistently saying that Jesus Christ is fake. This guy who has consistently causing pandemonium, trying to raise another group that is going into violence in the southeast. That is exactly why I am happy he confesses Christ, though lending his support for what he believes. This now brings you to a question that it could be because he has no good standing with Abu Kobi. Probably that could be the reason. He's not coming to support this guy because of he believes and what he's saying. He's just saying because he has his misunderstanding or disbelief of disagreement with Abu Kobi's way of life, ministry, and others of them. And it's understandable. But for the fact Simon Eba confessed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior publicly, the whole world have seen it. Simon, you have my support. Not in your declaration as my own brother. This now made me the do This particular freedom fighting you are fighting shows you are fighting it with sincerity of heart. Do you know why? Some people will claim to be another religion because of a particular thing they are looking for in a particular pursuit. Some people will, are like chameleon in the freedom fighting. They are not stable. Some place they tell you they are the Lord of Jehoshua. The other one they tell you they are Judaism. The other one they tell you that the Biafra is their religion. The other one they tell you that the Allah is the way. Confusion. If you, if you are wise, you understand what I'm saying. If you are not, forget it. But him saying that he is fighting his freedom, but he cannot ever deny that Jesus Christ is Lord. Simon was, has won my heart. So kudos to him. Now, let me address other issues that he just stated. He talked about the traditional ways and things we are born. Hear him and hear my own reaction on that. Traditional way of worship, we are physically destroyed and burnt. So you heard him when he said the traditional way of worship, we are physically burnt. And that is the truth. By the grace of God, I have been involved in burning native doctor's house. 
uh, in so many occasions. One in River State, one in Imo State, and also in one in Anan another one in Anambra State. Um, each of those one I got born, I was invited. I was on my own. They invited me. one of them in River State. The father is the chairman in Gelu Kuelu Owumini and Mami Water Association. He was the chairman in those days. So he died when he was no more. They were like alleging that the son should take over for him. The first son. And the first son said, I am child of God. I have confessed Jesus Christ as my Lord. I'm not interested. They said, okay, we need to come and pick up all the materials. That it's going to cost him millions of money to pick those things up. And the guy was like, I'm just looking for about a little million, just one or two, three million to bury my father. And you're telling me to pay such a man only to take away the shrine. I don't think I can afford it. No wonder the Bible says, bear my yoke upon you. My yoke is easy. He said, those who are labored on a heavy laden, I will give you rest. That is the word of God. So it pays you to serve God. It costs you nothing to be a child of God. Just only thing it's going to cost you is your sinful life. Drop your wickedness. Drop your sinful life. Accept Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. And you are saved. Now, in that case, the guy discovered that I cannot afford this amount. And since I'm the bona fide inheritor to this particular shrine, I therefore want to jettison, throw them away. I was invited. We had our prayers. We burnt down everything. The three altars. Ngelu Kuelu, Owumiri, Mami Water Association. We burnt it. By the invitation of the so-called inheritor. Who said, I don't need it. I don't care what may be happening in their family. But the guy in question is still alive today. Because they gave him motivation about seven months to do whatever, whatever. And the guy is still living today. This happened about 13 years ago. If not 15. But he's still living alive. Nothing happened. So, by burning the traditional way of life depends on the man of God or the people that are involved. If the people cause you to come and burn it and you have the grace as a servant of God, do it. But if you are a pastor, no one invited you. You want to go and show your power. Burning the traditional way of worship, the people should arrest you. Just like the way they arrested Batas. They should get you arrested. You don't deserve to leave. You don't go and take people's there is freedom of worship. So you don't infringe in anybody's right of worship by taking down his traditional way of worship. Yes, I know in some occasions, some family, you will hear some people say, I don't want it to be born. Some say, burn it. What happens in that case? It depends on the first son of the family. If the first son is an opinion that it should be born, I think the other one have no much in point. Don't say this because you belong to a, a tradition. No. I'm telling you what happened. The first son is the heir apparent to the throne. If he say burn it, I think you, the man of God has upper hand to take a decision. So if you are the first son and the younger one is say burn it, the younger one you have no right to burn such a thing when the first son said no. No matter the position of the son, no matter the financial status, no matter whatever is going on, even if you are the, the richest and you want to overshadow them, the first shall never shall remain the first. That is what govern principles of bringing down any shrine that you are invited. Let the first son give his credence, support to that. So this is what I want to let people know. So those ones they bond, it depends on, most of the things they bond in those days, they were invited to bond them. I know many of them that got converted to Christianity, they brought that shrine, and they bond it. The one I born in the Imo State, uh, Ebema to be precisely, they let the guy in question had a problem and made some pledges, born, killed, goat. Slaughtered animal for the gods. The still, the problem persisted. He couldn't save his only son. He got angry and called me and I destroyed those things. Look at the picture. I destroyed them. Burn it. He invited me and I took action. Time will tell me, tell me to start telling you where we have scattered assholes burning of those kind of things. And I don't do my things on social media. Most of these spiritual things. Except I'm led. So what are we trying to say? They burnt them, but it was by the instance of those our ancestors. Now, in further talk, talking about his support in Matthias, let me come again. Talking about his support that Matthias should be released with him in 72 hours. I, I want to lend my voice to say that as it stands now, 
Ebukobi's um, people, because it has never been Ebukobi who arrested him based on the information available to me, has is no longer having much um, point to keep him there. The battle now is between the police and uh, Matthias. Based on number one, trying to disarm the policeman who came for the who came for the arrest. He, they were saying if he has the gut and have people that can dispossess policeman, the police that he's gone. That means he's raiding. He has a some violent a kind of a cultic group, a terrorist group that is trailing. Number two. For him to have the God to throw away his phone when he was with the police, that's a sign that something incriminating about him in the phone. So the police are saying, yes, you guys have said bear him, but we want to unravel the mystery behind those actions. He must produce those guys that did that. And unfortunately, it was Matthias who recorded that on social media. So how they were having scuffles with the police. That is the situation of it. So, now, if it happened that uh, uh, Simon's uh, uh, warning, warning did not, it's not heeded to, it's not as if they were disobeying him, but the police are involved. I know him. You know the relationship he has with the Nigerian police. You will understand that they will never obey that. He also talked about Ebu uh, crime. He's one of those who are perpetrating with the name of the Lord. I don't have much to say about that reason. I don't know his facts. If he has the facts and figure, my brother, if Ebu Kobe is guilty, let him face the law. That is me. I don't have any fact in that. But if he perpetrates any wickedness with his ministry in the name of the Lord, let him face the music. I will not defend Ebu Kobe on that because I'm not there. I don't worship with him. Neither will I say that uh, someone is wrong because I don't know his, where his the facts and figure available to him. So I don't want this video to be too long. Let me stop here so far. Maybe I'll be coming for a part two from other points he made in that video. But my emphasis is declaring himself savior, that Jesus is savior as Lord. This will not make it. Those of you who are supporting him and it's not supporting that he believes in Christ, something must be wrong with him. He is a believer of Christ Jesus and that shows that Christ Jesus exists. That is my point of making this video. So thank you for watching. Please, add through your comment, let us know your view. If I didn't say well, let me know through the comment. Or you can even chat me up privately. If I did well, do the favors, let me know. But share this video, let it get to everybody. That we have someone have, for me, for declaring his Lord, Jesus as his Lord and Savior. I love him so for that. I know some people will not like, like this video, whatever. There's no way I can please everybody. But my with the, my conscience, and please... And God is happy with me. That word matters. Thank you and God bless you. I love you all. Adime Jupiter. Bye bye. If you no get information, you are already there from. Why not go to your YouTube? Jupiter.